Hello, fish. Welcome back to Fish Guy Podcast featuring Dan the uh, Spider Dan and. Um, G'day. I'm Chris. Welcome uh, to, to. We to, need to, a. Um, I'm. If I'm Spider Dan, you can be. You Captain like, Kirk. You're like. <laughs> Captain. You're like, yeah, Captain Kirk. Oh no, because. No, we need to give you like a, like a Spider Dan. It flows mint. Um. Ant Chris. No, Ant Chris doesn't go. Aqua Chris. Aqua Chris kind of flows in. You like Aqua Man? Aqua Chris. Not that it, no one's ever going to call me Spider Dan. And oh, I said I said Spider Dan to a girl I was seeing ages ago, and she thought it was the creepiest thing she'd ever heard in her life. It was so awkward. And I was like, I like to be called Spider Dan as a joke. Uh, and it's turned out that way. Um, no, right, big huge talking pint, 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 pint. Huge talking pint. Huge talking pint. Do the pint. Huge talking point. Yes, uh, and it is something me and you watched. Not so long ago, wasn't me. KSI Logan Paul fight, and uh, we both watched it in heavy detail. It's been put back, eh? It's a match. Oh, I've seen that, but more importantly, oh, it's made me eye. The uh, controversy surrounded it because apparently thousands of people think it was a setup to be a draw. Do you not think it was though? Uh, Chris, we watched the same fight. Well, I know. Right, go on. Give me the points of why it's a setup. Oh, well. well. Well, maybe not a set-up per se, but all this hype up and all this fucking hype up, <laughs> it just because ended it in a draw. Which no, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not uh, saying that the ending wasn't lackluster because I was like, oh. But why? Why do you reckon it was rigged then? Because I, I hundred well, percent know for rigged, a fact it wasn't. Maybe not rigged per se. But <laughs> what are you getting at? I don't know. <laughs> Do you not do you not have a point of what? Because if you think it's rigged, it I don't be, think it well, was if rigged. You, if you think there was a there was some involvement for it to be a draw, why is that? I don't think it was rigged that way. I think do you not think it was like set up between them two though? Right. So you think them two discuss right? Let's go out for a draw to make themselves hyped up more. Do as a draw when the rematch was already announced before. Would it not have been better to go into a rematch, which was already happening, with somebody either getting the belt back, this is like WWE, getting the belt back, or somebody uh, trying to defend the belt again? Would it not have been better with it on the line once more instead of a draw? Mm. I get you where you're from. And also, the fact, right, you, we, right, there's so many videos, they train their fucking asses off. Yeah. Do you reckon they train their asses off to get in a ring with somebody that at the time they both genuinely hate? I mean, you had uh, KSI completely ripping the fuck out of Logan's family and his girlfriend. He's going to be like, you've took the piss out of my girlfriend, called her a hoe, called her a slag. That's it's not well you. That's way even longer. Do you think that's fucking plausible? Not really, no. And the fucking, uh, the, their faces, the second both arms were raised, right? I'm I'm quite good at reading body language. When Ke- uh, Logan Paul turned and looked at the ref to think, what the fuck? Because he genuinely thought he'd won. And the, the, how disappointed and like, oh my fucking God, really, I've just gone through this training and all this time and effort just to have my hand raised and say it was a draw. Because they've both, neither of them won, neither have lost. Mm. So there's no like, oh, for fuck's sake, I need to try harder next time. There's no, yes, I've fucking done it. I've beat this guy that's given me shit for months. Yeah. And there's, it, it can't be for money because no matter what, they've made a lot shitload of money. That's fine. Mm-hmm. They're, they're putting on an event that they're great showmen in the internet world. They're, yeah. they're, they're guaranteed rematches happening anyway. Mm-hmm. What well, I can't see a reason why there needs to be a draw and why it would be rigged. If me and you are having a boxing match and I fucking couldn't stand you, I wouldn't be like, oh, I can't stand you, Chris. I really want to punch your face in. But how about we do a draw now and I'll wait a bit longer? Where the fuck's the logic behind that? I see where you're coming from, yeah. That it was not a. You don't go. Because then why didn't Jake and Deji do the same? They couldn't stand each other. And the way I that, didn't understand why, why why they needed to do a fight because the other ah, two well, fight. it kind of started with Jake as well. Watching the fight, that's why at the start of the video I said, watching the fight. Did you watch two people that looked like they were going for a draw? Two people that looked like they were trying to knock each other out. Oh, they were trying to kill each other. That's what I mean. Yeah. How the fuck is that? A dr- two people trying to go for a draw. The first two rounds when Logan was nice and fresh, them punches were fucking so heavy. He wanted to damage him. He was fresh. And they both. Genuinely think because, like I said, they both look absolutely disappointed. They both uh, uh, are doing videos analyzing why they think they won. Oh, we'll just have to find out the match. Yeah, so I mean, it's, if you think it's a draw, then fair enough, dude. Just uh, give us your reasons. But uh, I don't. 
Fifth. Sorry, not if you think it's a draw. If you think it was uh, put yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I can't see for any reason how the fuck that was... I think the draw thing was shit at the end of it. Yeah, the end was lackluster. I'm not arguing that. I, I was think... expecting a... Well, I wanted a Logan Paul win, but when the fight was over, I was expecting KSI to get his hand raised. seen KSI was getting better as Logan was fucking knackering himself. Yeah. The KSI technically should have won. And plus, it wasn't a straight-up draw. It was an, an anonymous draw. Two, one of the judges actually said KSI won, but it was the other two that said it was a draw. Who are the judges? So there's an American, a Brit, and I think they said an Italian. Yeah. They're, well, they they're usually in boxing and stuff, they usually do get represented from each country and a neutral. Mm. So it's not too biased because it was all Brits, most likely. That's why in Premier yeah. League, you don't have like, if there's a Newcastle and Sunderland fan, uh, teams playing, you won't have a jury ref in it because yeah, it would go that way. Well. Ah, yeah. But yeah, I, so you're, you're on the fence a bit. You think that it was maybe slightly uh, not so much rigged, but there was. Uh, there were, they spoke beforehand to get a draw. Uh, I don't think this. Well, I don't think intentionally they did it for a draw. But I, I think there would have been some words behind it somehow between them two. I don't mm. know what. So you reckon they did speak about how the fight should end? I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> what words do you reckon were said before the fight started? It's it's generally pissed me off that people have said I couldn't give a fuck. I hate KSI, right? I love Logan Paul, and if it's vice versa or whatever, I, I, it's pissing me off that people are saying KSI didn't go in there to knock him out or to to win. They fucking tried to kill each other. Neither of them wanted a draw. You seen them trying to kill each other? They were heartbroken when they found out it was a draw. KSI looked like he was going to cry. Logan Paul looked like fucking the, the biggest uh, cliffhanger of a film had just happened. His jaw dropped. He thought, "What? I just fucking won that." Mm. The, the Instagram stories. I know, like, fucking, it's just what we see in videos, but again, I feel like I'm into reading body language and shit. And I see, I, I'm, character. I'm not. I genuinely don't think. Right, but regardless of that, uh, I, you know how I feel on the views. You're a bit like, hmm, conspiracy, I suppose, conspiracy Chris. In <laughs> fact, I, it's not, I cook a conspiracy Chris. Uh, Chris is conspiracy over it. It's probably Flat Earth, that's why they drew. Um, but uh, another big thing is, which I think stupid as fuck, because uh, the boxing culture... And the boxing world is attacking the world and the culture that we're a part of, and that's YouTube. Right. And they're like, oh, how can two idiots get in the ring and make all this money, get all this attention? We're the proper boxers and shit. I think that's fucking stupid for them to say. Yeah. Because they're not going in there thinking, oh, we're mint boxers, us, we can take on everyone. No, they're going to settle a beef and know that, again, they're showmen, they're entertainers, they know that this is going to be... Uh, a show yeah. that people are going to that's what they're doing All they're putting they're doing on the show basically setting themselves up to say look right instead of fucking just having words over a camera let's settle this in a ring yeah and they did it in a boxing they didn't have to do it in a boxing style they could have done it in wrestling they could have done it at a fucking game of table tennis for yeah. all they know yeah, they but, just wanted to put on a show yeah. and they wanted it to be you know a high pressured uh, like a cooker oven you know, type thing, so it could all explode and fucking go everywhere and so shit. the boxing community can fuck because all oh. the boxers are like, why are you watching these fucking idiots do this? And that's all other shit. And when you think about it, you're like, well, hang on a sec. If you're the actual real professional professional boxer and these two amateurs who know they're amateurs, who know they're just fucking, you know, it's the first few fights. Well, if they're doing something so mint and getting this audience to boxing, surely that's something on you for being shit and not being able to get a big enough draw when you're the professional. Yeah. It's but like, also, if I'm not mistaken, if, you, if you're into, if you don't really, because I don't really do boxing. But I am on YouTube. But if you're that kind of person and you enjoyed that, was that not inspire more people to go into boxing? Yeah, I, I, that was going to be my next point. If, if, I, if I hated boxing and I watched Logan Paul, uh, KSI go at it and be like, oh, that was really fun and interesting. I wonder what it's like seeing the professionals do mm, it. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, there's, there's AJ, uh, AJ Styles. Uh, Anthony <laughs> Joshua. There's fucking Shannon Briggs. There's all these people. There's Tyson Fury. Oh, my God. And that, that's a stepping stone. It's not their fault that they're huge, popular stars and all these people want to watch them and they're great draws, they're great showmen, they're great... Again, if you don't like them or whatever, that's completely fine. But uh, it, you can't it, argue with what they just are. just like saying what can you kicking off with Jackie Chan because even though he's an actor, he's putting a performance in karate shit. Yeah, because uh, there was a lot at work that like, these fucking Muppets made millions and we don't actually know how they made millions. Logan Paul in his video just said there's a good chance he's at a loss because you got to remember that KSI and Logan Paul paid for all this. This isn't Sky Sports 
box office mm. or all. they are there to pay for the their teams, the trainers, the uh, security, the, the you know the arena. They're there to pay for everything. They probably did maybe make some money along the end, um, especially with the pay per view buys. And it's only a ten quid pay per view buy. Boxing pay per view is like forty. Mm-hmm. So if they if, if they have made money, it's fucking good for them. If me and you had a boxing match and we made money, it's good for us because we somehow managed to draw an audience that are willing to pay for us to put on a show. Exactly. Yeah, so I don't know. If you're a professional boxer and you're like, fucking idiots, why are they getting all the money and tension? Because they're doing something right in a sport that they're fucking amateur at and you're doing something wrong yeah, that you're supposed to be it professional just helped, It's just made them a bit more hyped up because of YouTubers, popular YouTubers, in fact. Yeah, uh, so it's a bit like them coming into the boxing turf and the boxers are like, fucking hell, man, they're something on turf and they're doing it better than us. Fair enough, the fighting technical side might not be better, but the showman side is better. Yeah. Like, look at fucking Conor McGregor going to to boxing for one match and he put on a spectacle which made millions watch boxing and as soon as he gets out of the boxing game people stop watching because they're watching there for the showman Conor McGregor mm-hmm. it, it just really annoyed us I thought fuck you plus this culture's up and coming anyway um, it's the, the the future of uh, what's going to be watched is by the people that watch that fight you know the internet culture yeah. and the younger kids and shit it was just really annoying I thought fuck you no you should be like oh fair enough lads you did a, a really great show you've put some eyes to boxing you've put more eyes on uh, competitive sports alone because this might influence people to get more stuff settled in a sporting way I don't ah, it was why, really I don't annoying why it won't no they're just fucking doing stupid things it just uh, it pisses off. I feel like the boxers just be like, "Hey, fair play, lads. You, you put on a mid show. Uh, it, we just need to step our game up in the actual professional world." If Logan and K Sai were walking around going, "Yeah, we're better than every boxer. We're better. Well, we could smash any boxer." Then, hey, fair enough. Fair enough. I can yeah. say that, but obviously they're not either. The amount of times that they said, "There's a lot for us to learn. There's a lot for us to work on." This is my first fight. This is my second fight. We're, it wasn't we're amateurs. Just them. It was everyone that took part that night. They were all amateurs, and they were all. You could see. Like I say, I'm, I'm, I can't really say it because I don't fight at all. But you could see they weren't... It's not something they wanted to do. It was just yeah. putting on a show. Scarce, I watched his video after it, the one that got absolutely battered by Raka Raka. Mm. He did it because he was on a weight loss mission uh, and he thought it was a great end goal and make him a bit more determined to have a certain amount of time to lose a certain amount of weight because he's yeah. got something to reach. I thought that's fucking... Exactly. Inspiring as fuck, that man. He showed a before and after picture and shit. Uh, and imagine if one of these lot... like. Um, Face Sensei, the one that knocked the uh, thing out with the body shot. Well, not knocked him out, but dropped him. Mm. What if he goes on to be a professional boxer now and he's bringing his audience from the internet over to the boxing world? Yeah, exactly. So, fuck it, it's just ridiculous. It is. It, 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 it fucking infuriated me quite a bit. I was like, uh, what, True Geordie did a video on it and it was really passionate and well-spoken and stuff. Uh, you should definitely go check that out. True Geordie's made a shitload of subscribers out of this, so I'm quite happy for him. I was about to say fellow Geordie, but I'm not Geordie, I'm just a Geordie fan. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, fellow Geordie, I'm not from Newcastle. No. You but yes, uh, we've got a couple minutes left. I want to try and uh, have a bit of fun action now because that, that was all my ranting over. You got any more you want to say on it? I'm good, mate. Right. So uh, this is just purely fun. This isn't, you don't have to go to the deepest parts of your mind no. thing, Ian. Uh, what, what, why, in your little world, just make it up whatever you want. Why would this be a conspiracy? What do you reckon is going down if it was a conspiracy? Like, yeah, this is just fun. What this is just mean? making up. Because you, you, you reckon there's some kind of conspiracy, don't you? Behind it, that you've just said earlier, there was something that went on before. <laughs> I don't say, I wouldn't say a conspiracy, but you think something know, happened. There might, there might be something involved, but right, there's something involved, right? That's it. That's the serious part done. Now, for the last minute, just have a bit of fun and say who it could be. Do you reckon lizard people have told them to do it? Do you reckon Illuminati's got all of them? I'm UFOs. Surprised with Illuminati. It'd be it'd be funny if they were both both approached by Illuminati or, or the lizard people. Or someone like Donald Trump, he's got involved. Hey, guys, for America. I'll say it would be more close to Illuminati because they know how big the... Well, obviously, the, 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 Illuminati, the Illuminati, they seem to go for fucking people who's got talent. Say like Beyonce's supposed to be in it, JC's supposed to be in it, fucking yeah. Rihanna's supposed to be in it. And these are all popular YouTubers and you've got actors that's supposed to be in it, like fucking Cameron Diaz and fucking and whatever, Cameron whatever. Diaz. So I don't think they've realised how big the YouTube side of things have. That's going to get along so better. I think they're going to... Oh, so it's the Illuminati approach. The Illuminati yeah, being gonna, mavericks. You never know. We might even get approached by them one day. <sighs> they might be like, that fat guy that talks about that <laughs> yellow Pikachu and the, the other guy, the other conspiracy guy. Oh! Nah, it'd be fun if it was a bunch of flat earthers. 
A bunch of flat earthers are like, excuse me, guys, excuse me. it's flatter. When you fight, can you make it a draw? Because that means it's even, like the uh, the earth is an even playing field. Thank you very much. <laughs> There's your sites for listening. Let us know what you think of the, uh, the fight in the comments below. And if you think it was rigged, I definitely don't think it was. Chris reckons it was lizard people that live on a flat earth. No, more, no, more <laughs> luminous. Visuals keeping you, keep on keeping on. Love you, bye.